Okay, in this uh, video, we're going to look up landmarks uh, and place them into a separate layer onto our map that we created uh, last time. So, uh, what we're going to do is we want to go and create a new layer by clicking here, Add Layer. And there's our new layer, and of course we want to give it a title. So we click on Untitled Layer, and then this time we're going to call it landmarks. Now, uh, what I'm really wanting to do is kind of, um, well, let's say I got a friend who's uh, coming to the area uh, where we live, uh, Bluffton Hilton Head, and uh, he wants to see some uh, historical uh, places in this area. He's heard it's very historical, so he wants to see a few uh, of the historical areas um, that we have. So, uh, we're going to create a map for him. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to look for the Hayward House. And there it is. Hayward House Museum and Welcome Center Boundary Street. So we're going to click on there. And there is our marker. All right, so we got some information here. So we want to add this to our map. So we click Add Map. And if we look over here to the left, we can see Hayward House Museum and then, of course, in Welcome Center. But let's give them a picture so that our friend knows what this place looks like. So we go over here, and you can see the little camera, and it says Add Image or Video. So we're going to click on there. And it's going to open up... Um, this box or this window and we're going to do a Google image search so we're going to look for Hayward darn you spell correct Hayward House Bluffton we'll do a search and there we have wonderful pictures of the Hayward House. I'm going to select this first one here. So I click on it and I go down here to the blue select button there. And as you can see now we have a picture of the Hayward House. So we're going to go and we're going to save that. So now we have this. All right, so we need another one. Uh, let's see, there's always Fort Mitchell and Hilton Head. So we're going to click that. And there we are along Skull Creek Drive. And we're going to click Add to Map. And let's see if we can find a picture of that place. So we're going to clear this box out from our last search. So we've got Fort Mitchell. Might want to add Hilton Head for good measure. You never know, there might be another one. All right, so we got uh, these places. I'm going to go and click uh, here. This is uh, what he might see if he's looking for it. They'll know it's the right place. And there we have it. Fort Mitchell. And we're going to click Save. All right, our friend also um, enjoys uh, nature. So we're going to take him to Pinckney Island National Wildlife Refuge. So we click there. And there it is. We're going to click on Add to Map. Of course, we want him to have a nice picture. And let's see, let's give him this nice little image. Yes. And we can click save. All right, so there's one more place. 
Reconstruction Era National Historical Park in Beaufort. So let's go ahead and add that to the map and let's see if we can find a picture to help us out. And this looks like a good one. So we'll click here and click Save. All right, I think we've uh, got enough here. Uh, let's go ahead and let's see it. First of all, well, we're gonna get rid of this. We're gonna keep going down. And as you can see, whoop, start to see our map there we go there we have our pins and we click on it it gives us all the detail and it shows the picture that we've saved so our friend can see where um, where to go and what the places look like all right so this is how you uh, create a new layer uh, that we're going to call landmarks and we are using the search function to find the places that we want to drop a pin on and add them to our map and then uh, we're going to add or we did add uh, nice pictures of all these locations um, so that people in our case um, my friend can see uh, what these places look like if you have any questions make sure to ask your teacher